Assalamu alaikum. If you've ever been to the Kaaba, the Haram, or the Masjid, you know how beautiful and spiritual they are. Being there makes us feel deeply connected and less concerned about everyday matters. Now, let's talk about the miracles that happened when these special places were rebuilt and redesigned. The person who designed and built the Masjid al-Haram and Masjid was named Muhammad Kamal Ismail. He was an architect and engineer from Egypt. It's essential to understand that designing and building such sacred places is not a job for just anyone. Allah guided and chose Dr. Kamal Ismail for this task. His life story is exceptional. He was highly educated, becoming the youngest high school graduate in Egypt and earning multiple doctorates in Islamic architecture in Europe. Even with all his expertise, he refused to accept any money for his work in these holy places. Masha Allah. He believed seeking worldly rewards for designing such sacred places was not right. King of Saudi and Bin Laden company tried to pay him a lot, but he refused and said how I face my Allah on the day of judgment and devoted his life to Allah's housework. So the main story starts when Dr. Kamal Ismail took on the task of redesigning the Haram and Masjid. He worked on this project quietly, without seeking media attention or fame, because he doesn't want the media to appraise his effort because he wants his rewards from Allah on the Day of Judgment. May Allah grant him a higher rank in Jannah. The construction of the Haram and Masjid is itself a miracle. During the construction of the Haram Kaaba, the main problem engineers were facing at that time was floor heating because we know the Haram floor is not shaded, and it's an open area for Tawaf, and we know Saudi Arabia has warm weather conditions. So at that time, Dr. Kamal miraculously found the rarest marble, which is known for staying cool even in the scorching heat of Saudi Arabia. And the main story is here. This type of marble is only found in Greece, and there is only one mountain in the world that owns this kind of marble. Wa Allah. This is just not more than the miracle that Allah created this mountain only for his house purpose. When, in an interview, the anchor asked him how they found this amazing marble, he simply said it was a miracle of Allah. Allah helped me and gave me the right path. He is a better guide than all. Masha Allah. Dr. Kamal had purchased the half of mountain and used all of its marble for the harem floor. After 15 years, when he started the masjid's construction, the king of Saudi Arabia asked him to use the same snow white marble. Dr. Kamal wasn't sure if the company he bought it from still had any, but he tracked them down and found out that all the marble was sold out. He was very sad at that time, but he didn't lose hope and prayed to Allah for guidance in this matter. And the next day, miraculously, the company called him and said they found marble one of the Saudi companies bought 15 years ago, and it remains unused. It was nothing more than a miracle that the marble had been sitting in their storage for 15 years, waiting for him to use it for the masjid. Masha Allah. Dr. Kamal offered the Saudi company a blank check for the marble, but the company owner miraculously refused to take any payment and donated all that marble to the mosque of Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. It's heartwarming to know that Dr. Kamal dedicated his expertise and years of work to this sacred project instead of pursuing other projects for personal gain. May we all get the chance to witness the majesty and holiness of Masjid al-Haram and Masjid one day. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for updates. Until next time.